from all over the world. I, Rie, are, are joining here from London. Today is very rainy and um, water, and uh, I'm very glad. Yes, tomorrow it will be forecast uh, sunny. I am looking forward to go out tomorrow. So let me share my screen. Let's see. Thank you. <laughs> so, can you see my screen, everybody? Yes. I yes, we you. can. Today is the 8th of May, 2021. What an honor to be asked to share my life journey. I have a very limited time. Therefore, please forgive me if I am a little bit too hasty. I try to cover as much as possible. So, first of all, I want to share with very important music. I tell you why this music is very important. So, uh, I want you to just enjoy for a minute. Thank you so much for hearing my the music which that music really saved my life i tell you later so who is rie early career as i was introduced former diplomat in japan government official at ministry of foreign affairs and get trained in tokyo headquarter in, and then i was transferred to washington dc vienna and korea and uh, Munich and Central Europe and then Russia for five years and then I uh, arrived to London. So this is the photo on the right hand side. I was given the honorary diplomatic uh, award medal and then so this is a very early, uh, incredibly uh, uh, how do you call it? Uh, youth looking Rie. So this is uh, the photos in the, the second line is been taken to has been taken to um, ambassador's residence in Washington DC. On the left hand side these are kabuki actors. Kabuki is a very ancient Japanese culture. All actors should be men. And this is a ladies, the wives of the actor, who does all the behind the scene, ticket sales, and then uh, the looking after the the very uh, VIP clients. And he is a son of the future kabuki actor. So this is a Japanese tea uh, um, house. Uh, this is a pond. And then I have been wearing the dress, looking after the 1,000, over 1,000 diplomats and the government officials in, at the party. So this is uh, the G8 summit. I was working as a uh, behind the scene for the press officer, looking after 300 journalists in each uh, summit. So this photo is very, very uh, rare. You can see back is a Kyoto a Japanese ancient te temples in Kyoto, Japan, and these gentlemen uh, got the training to be a senior diplomats all over the world. So you can see in the tiny, tiny pea-sized rie here, 
So this is a commemorative photos of the training. So these are my colleagues eh, who has been working tirelessly without sleep and then <laughs> creating a lot of uh, sleep center. Then I was transferred to uh, actually Tokyo headquarter and in charge of the South and North Korea's early uh, unification. So I was lucky to be able to go inside to North Korea. So this is a, a very, very rare photo. After the Korea, I was be, uh, um, transferred to Vienna. So I became a debutant at Winter Ball in Hofburg Palace in Vienna. So this is a very, uh, a very rubbish uh, Hofburg Palace. And this is another uh, debutant line. I was uh, uh, welcoming the President World Fine and then dignitary diplomats. So these are the photos. Why I am sharing this photo? Because this is the beginning of the life journey. So after this, I was transferred to Russia. Five years, I worked as a vice consul looking after 1,000 Japanese residents and also corporation who had under threat from the mafia. Every single day, there was a, some incident, burglary, the car was stolen, the, the company was threatened, the blackmail. It was very, very um, uh, tension, full of tensions every day. So look very young, Rie is here. This is a Kremlin, inside the Kremlin. This is a red square. So my life was very luxurious as a very successful diplomat. When I was a young, small child, I was dreaming, I was watching the Beverly Hilly Biddies. I'm sure some of the participants today, audience, who watch this American very funny comedy, the Beverly Hilly Biddies, they were living in the Paris. And then 30, 40 years later, I was living here. And this is uh, the my uh, world, and then this is my house, and then always having a charity. This is a uh, England National Fine Arts Society's anniversary party. So this is a Japan Association. They came to uh, have a barbecue, and this is a political uh, night. So I have been having this life. Every week I'm having all those things, the delicious food, and then the chef was coming here to my house, and then lots of lots of dignitary were here. So these are my life. And then I met Sister Gentibin. And what mm -hmm. happened? I tell you, all, today is only half an hour, so I won't be able to go into the details. I lost everything. Why? There was some betrayal. Then my marriage crumbled down. Somebody took my husband, and somebody was so jealous of me to living in that Paris, and then she wanted to take over my position, and then she stole my husband, and she stole my money, and then she wow. stole all my assets and my divorce lawyer i had to file the divorce and my divorce lawyer stole my money Ooh. so all wow. the material things and uh, my precious precious asset were stolen when i was so uh, heartbroken i went to Ikuyo, the my second speaker Ikuyo was so kind to me. She invited me to the Oxford Retreat Center in Brahma Kumaris. And then I was in distraught. I was crying and crying and contemplating the suicide. That moment, I met Sister Gentleman. I attended a weekend course and then I was crying like a baby to Sister Gentleman. What on earth? I have to face this embarrassment, humiliation, and the sister gentleman was looking after me like a crying baby. I was crying and crying and crying. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve this. 
and uh, where is a God, where is a Buddha, where is a Allah? I couldn't believe anything, anybody, human being particularly. Then, Sister Gentibin said, focus to see the light during the darkest moment. Look at the light. Seek the light. That was her very simple but profound advice. And then after she said it, I had a chance to uh, acquire the house. And then I made, especially to follow up her advice, I made a loft conversion and then I created the um, beautiful uh, window, the loft window and the ceiling is, I can see the light like this. The moon, sun and the moon, I can see from my loft where I am now talking to you. The sunny day, I don't need to go anywhere. I feel like I'm in uh, uh, Spain, the, you know, the beautiful holiday. So thanks to Ikuyo, she invited me to lot of, uh, lots of events in uh, uh, Global Center. And also I was invited to Mount Abu. I met a very, very precious opportunity to uh, have a chance to meet uh, Daddy Janki. So this really is a turning point. So watch your thought, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, for it becomes your destiny. So this is well known, the uh, quote, which is Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa uh, sent a message to the whole world. And um, since I met, I encountered this word, the power of the thoughts and the words is that what the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So I want to ask you, everybody, what thoughts do you have today? The good news is you can control your thought. You can change. Even you feel so down and then unhappy, ungrateful, even that not good moment, I have tried to change it. So, do, do you, oh, wait a minute, I will come back. Do you remember the music I shared? That music helped me. The dance, I danced it. Since I was stolen, all my material things, including my husband, I was devastated. But the music encouraged me. No, I said to no to the destiny. I said no to the what's happening. And then I'm going to create from the scratch my new life. And then during that time, this book, I can show, I can show you everybody. So this book, what I have in my hands now as well, I found this book in a very uh, uh, unexpected place, Japanese school. There's some old book sales. I got free of charge. When I saw that book, I was astonished. The impact, the, what a significant teaching. So. Dr. Masao Emoto's discovery, the message from water. Please take a, a smartphone, the uh, photo shoot, because this QR code show his project, what he researched. I'm going to show you a little bit further. So take a, a snapshot of this. Can you, have you done it? Now I'm going to go to next. So Dr. Emoto's research and discovery on water, he established the world's first technology of water crystal photography in 1994. Dr. Emoto's research on water shows that our thoughts, words, 
and everything we see and hear have a direct effect on water crystal formation. The most amazing discovery is that water is deeply connected with our individual and co collective consciousness. Because both human body and this planet are about 70% water, more or less 70%, it is essential that we all learn about water and how it's connected with thoughts and words. For instance, playing the music to water. You can see here, this is a big uh, the sound system, and then here is a water. How it affect water crystal before playing music then after playing Beethoven's destiny to the water wow amazing crystallization how much music affect phenomenal result next showing words to water so it says here this is a Japanese language, you fool, or shit, or stupid, and uh, dumb, or all the negative looking down, or negative words. Biases here on the right hand side, thank you, full of gratitude. So these water, how it changed, look at this. The negative word didn't even form the crystal at all. Whereas here is beautifully all similar, all the complete formation. Whereas peace, wait a minute, peace and war, the war couldn't form. This is no harmony. The so peace is uh, very clear and then here is similar to the one thank you it says i can do it like a barack obama's motto yes i can yes we can no matter what yes we do it we can do it i can do it whereas here i can't do it i can't do it anyway so this is from the beginning giving up, not believing yourself. So this is very clear. It doesn't even form the crystal at all. Just a half, but didn't form. So this is the best crystallization, which is love and gratitude. Love and gratitude. Similar to thank you, but full of gratitude. So. Brahma Kumaris is a full of love and the gratitude. No wonder everywhere I go in the uh, in the retreat center and uh, uh, everywhere I went, I went to India and then lots of other retreat center and then I was always having encounter such a beautiful soul because this is very clear this the soul intention the heart the thought the word create this beautiful so effect of our intention and the prayers particularly the prayers before the prayer sorry before the prayer is so it doesn't even have any format after the prayer same as love and gratitude and uh, it's so obvious we need to have a gratitude thank you love compassion so this is please take a the smartphone the photo this qr code what you can see more research and also dr emoto's interview and the more details how he started what's the motivation and how much it really affected all over the world now non-profit organization a motor peace project is has been distributing free a booklet of this message of water 
to the world, particularly in Africa, children in Africa, because that is education is very important. Where Ikuyo is going to uh, talk about after me. So, so who is here now? Thanks to this message from water, and thanks to Sister Gentiben's advice, seek the light. I reinvented. I started from scratch. The money was stolen. My property was stolen. Wow. All my betrayed. After this, I became a founder of Salon the Branch of Wisdom, global finance at private funds, private institutions, family offices are now trusting me. I am now business consultant, international all those companies. I'm an international motivation speaker. The people keep asking me to share my life journey. I am gladly I am the mother of all the mentees from all over the world, from Ghana, Nigeria, Slovakia, Lithuania, Thailand, Japan, India, Hong Kong, China, Australia, and UK. So this is I thanks to Brahma Kumaris, Sister Gentleman, and Daddy Janki, all the beautiful soul of the support. After this, I became a um, global speaker in Albania. I was invited. I give a talk to the Albanian ladies. And this is Kosovo, the Prime Minister, a uh, pri uh, previous Prime Minister Kosovo, came to congratulate it. And she is a chairwoman of the Disabled Association in Kosovo. She had a nine major operations. And then she was very <coughs> touched by my uh, speaking and then she decided to become my mentee so everywhere i go i give a talk an importance of the word thoughts and word so this is uh, i did it in london and then i'm a global women club director so anybody who are interested please get in touch with me now i have all these membership and then connection with these overseas com com countries and thanks to the message that we do not we do not need to rely on the materials or even human beings heart change so we need a peace in our own heart so again please take a shot of this you can watch this every day what's your thought they become words what's your words they become actions Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, for it becomes your destiny. So, I always, I need to remind myself about this. And uh, about reminding myself. And then, today, also I want you to take a snapshot of this the things you can start from today number one write down your dream what you want to achieve in life even you think it is impossible oh Rie can do it because she had some privilege she was this environment she had a chance given a chance it doesn't matter it is irrelevant focus on yourself do not put the focus to any other people but yourself Number two, wish and pray in your heart whenever you can, even in the train, the bus, walking on the street, in the park. In Japanese Buddha, Buddhism says, Maiji sa zenen. Maiji is constantly, sa zenen is wishing and praying everywhere, every time, all over the places. Number three, get excited and speak loudly, especially you feel down and sad. I am glad, I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm lucky, I'm getting lucky and lucky and luckier. This is what I did with that music I shared with you, that I'm, I'm happy, that name of the title of the song is happy, be happy, even I was so pissed off and so angry and happy, Nevertheless, I made the decision. I am happy. I will be happy. I am lucky. I am excited. So that music also really helps. 
Number four, believe every cloud has a silver lining. Every happenings in your life, you know, negative situation has a potential to result in something positive. So these number five, be open-minded to activate your inner potential. Meaning, once your door closed, another uh, op the doors bigger and then much much abundant opportunity will come that door will open i'm in the middle of it recently my one of the door was closed very cruelly i am very distraught disheartened disappointed i'm very sad but i'm talking to myself Rie, believe Every crowd has a silver lining that open-minded to activate your inner potential. Rie, you have a potential. You activate your inner potential with that music, the word. So what I can do now is, so anyone who wants to activate your potential, feel free to contact me. So this is my website. And this is email, my uh, precious, precious branch of wisdom. The branch means the one of the tiny branch of a tree. My name is Ri E. E means branch, and the wisdom is Ri. So this is my personal club I created. So thank you very much. And uh, this is end. I want to share. And thank you very much. And miraculously, I finished my talk within the... Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Rhea. Thank you. Gosh, you've been through a lot. <laughs> and you've come out stronger. I'm more grateful. Yes, you're I stronger and you're serving more people. Yes. Now, in a more powerful way. Indeed. Now, mm -hmm. I'm not living for myself. Not for my sake, not for my fame. No power, no money, no fame. No, mm -hmm. I'm living to make my team, my surrounded mentees, my friends, to make them happy and successful. So yeah. anybody I encounter, I treat them like my own child. My mentees mm -hmm. are my child, mm -hmm. my children. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. few of my mentees are here. I'm so grateful they are listening to my life story. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you, Ria.